guys and welcome to another go detecting. Uh, I'm out on <coughs> permission in Durham. It has the Roman road and the old Roman bridge on it. I'm a little bit away from it I'm going to walk towards it because the you know, Romans didn't just stick to the roads they walked around. There's also some medieval and some 16th 17th century uh, farming that's gone on here so we'll see how we're doing. Back out with the baby today. Got the dais again. It's just found its first signal. Uh, I am using Gary's Ultimate program. I do like that program, um, where his advice is to re dig any raised signal. Um, this is the first signal here. It's a bit scratchy, but it is raised over the iron tone. Which is the one here somewhere. There's the iron tone. So if you hear that, that's iron. You can definitely hear a higher pitch there, so I'm going to dig it and we'll see what it is. It rained overnight, but the ground is still a bit dry because I haven't had any rain, proper rain, for a few weeks. Uh, whatever it is. It's in the plug. Oh, I've not even had a chance to get my gloves on yet. Lovely blue sky day. Oh. Right. I'll have to get the diggy tool on it. Oh. I mean, the ground is solid. That's going to be oh, oh, affecting depth today. Oh. Right. Whatever it is, I think it's a small target. can't find it yet so if I find it I'll get back to you and show you after this well I said it was going to be small look at that absolutely tiny a bit of shot from a shotgun absolutely tiny signal right I'll see you at the next okay this signals ringing in at 83 83 it's in the clod see what it is. Oh, it's something coin like. Oh. Yeah, it's a coin of some sort. Absolutely toasted out. Nothing on that at all. Alright. Now we just get it cleaned up and have a look in the roundup. First coin of the day, second hole, get in, on to the next. Right, this one's reading in at 67. <laughs> 71. Jumping between 67 and 71. And now it's 64. Let's see what it is. I'm not sure. It's jumping all over the place, so it could just be something rubbishy. But we'll have a look and I'll get back to you. Right. It's out. And it's now it's like 62. 62, 63, 64 in there. Let's see what it is. Well, looks just like a piece of scrap metal. 
Oh well, it's a find. On to the next. Okay guys, I have a little, hopefully, coin ball. We shall see. Not a coin ball. What is it? It's too small for a coin. It's a tiny, teeny, small hot rock. Not coke, because it's got like a, a ready brown tinge to it. It's a hot rock. Ah, oh, tell you what, it's heavy. That could be meteorite, or it could be an ore. Maybe it's have a bit of a lead ore. That, that is one heavy little pebble. Okay. Ah, on the next. Three right, guys. Nice sweet sound, ringing in between 83, 81, 83, 85. I'm going to back off the target, there we are, so I know it's just in front of the coil. I'll dig it, we'll see what it is. Right guys, nine inches down right at the bottom of the hole, managed to scrape it out. This flattened bit of lead. Might have been a palm guard in its time for when they were sticking the needles through the leather harnesses and saddles and things. So it didn't stick in the hands. Um, but yeah, flattened bit of lead over nine inches down. Okay, we'll see you at the next. Oh, just found this, we're at one minute at 62. Not a clue. This bit is metal with a screw thread, and this bit is made of wood. So it's not old because that wood would have rotted. Well, it is very soft and rotting, but I don't have a clue. Pretty modern. Not a clue what it's for. If anyone has ever recognised something like that. Not a clue. First one I've ever found like it. Never seen anything like it before, but an oddity. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Switched on using the XY screen. And first find with that. Just some kind of just nicked it with a spear there. Some kind of brax uh, brax brass fitting of some machinery of some sort. Okay, I'll keep going. See you on the next one. Okay guys, clear as the signal here. Right across the screen on the XY. I don't know if you can see that. It's going in the right direction. Let's see what it is. Oh. Knees are hurting. Look, turn it on. Oops. Oh. Just down here. Let's get the dig. Diggy tool. Oh, blimey, this ground. Absolutely. Rock. Oh, there's some green. Some green patina there. around it, around the edges, not wanting to damage it or 
catch it with a spade. Whatever it is, it's got a lovely green patina on it, so it's coppery, but brassy. Right, I'm going to use my big spade around it and then I'll show you what it is. Right, that's it loosened guys. Not a clue. Some kind of clip, maybe. Got a lovely green patina to it, which normally means it's re reasonably old. Looks like it's got some copper coming through, but if anyone has any ideas what on earth that could have been used for, because those ends look like they squeeze in and clip under something, but. Yeah, there's some oddities come off this farm. Not a clue. I'll have to get out on some ID sites and see if anyone has seen anything like it. Probably just a clip of some sort though. Okay, catch you on the next one. Now I was told that using the XY screen, if the line went straight up and down, it would have been coke. That line is going straight up and down. So what I might do is give it a dig and see if that actually is coke. So it's going straight up and down. I'll get back to you and let you know if it is coke. So if you're using the XY screen, you can ignore those ones. We'll see. Well, I can confirm when the line goes straight up and down, it's coke. And there it is. Black bubbly coke. So yeah, I might be ignoring those ones from now on. Hopefully you won't be getting any more. Excellent. Right. See you later on the next. Okay guys, this was quite a good signal, but on the XY screen it was a really, really small, small line, which means it was deep. So I've dug the hole, it's getting on for nine inches deep and we'll see a bit of metal here with a nice kind of patina on it. Oh, <laughs> that's, a fork or a that's a spoon. Uh. How is that for a spoon? Eh? One bendy spoon. Honestly, I've got some subscribers who laugh and giggle at how much I drop things. Thank you, Holly, very, very much indeed for making comments whenever I see you about my butterfingers. And uh, good luck in whatever you choose to do in the future. And there's a spoon for you. I'll dedicate that one to you, Holly. Because I keep dropping it. Put the fingers, David. There you go. Okay, we'll get on to the next, and that will go in the finds pouch. See you later. Right, guys. Whoops. Coin ball. Is that sticking out there? Is that a coin? Or is it a button? Please be a coin. Please be a coin. Oh, oh, it's a button. <laughs> ah. yeah. oh, well, I don't mind buttons. Buttons mean there were people here dropping things. And if buttons fell off clothes, pockets might have had holes in. So, and jewellery might have fallen off. So, there we are. A little button. 
Never mind. On the next. Whew. It's got hot, the sun is out, the sheep are grazing, and I haven't had a good signal for about half an hour. Um, I've come down at the bottom field where the old Roman bridge crosses the river, the stream, and then heads up that way. Oh, and I've just had my first good signal. So it's in, it's out, it's in the spoil somewhere. Just get my Garrett Pro pointer out. Oh, 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 it's a coin, it's a coin. Looks like a, an old half penny by the size of it. Don't know a little bit too much. Yeah. Looks about the right thickness and size of an old half penny. I'll get it cleaned in the roundup and we'll see what it is. At least it's another coin. Excellent. Okay. On to the next. Alright guys, next one was a bit iffy, uh, it was a good sound, a bit scratchy, but it was a bit iffy on the XY screen, it was a bit bundled near the middle and then horizontal and all sorts. Um, so I've got it out, I think that's it there, looks like an old pistol ball, just going to check. Yeah, it's not bad, but the depth on the uh, what my program's what six inches, if that. But yeah, that looks like a an old pistol ball of some sort. Too small to be a musket ball. Bit of history. It's one of the oldest things. And butterfingers again, one of the uh, oldest things I've found so far today, so I suppose I've got to be happy. <sighs> God, it's getting warm. Okay, we'll catch you later on. Okay, absolutely banging the signal here. So let's get it out, let's have a look. Oh hang on, I think I can see it already. Oh it's a buckle. There you go. Nice little buckle. Cool, first buckle of the day. Keep going. Alright, this one was a bit of a quiet, iffy signal. Um, XY screen was kind of around the middle, but I've got it out. And now, XY screen's going all the way across. I just wish you could see it, it's stupid. Screen cover. There we go. So I'm banging across, so it's got to be a coin. Let's have a look. Gotta be, come on, third coin of the day. Let's make it a nice one. Okay, it's in here. In this bit. Oh, what's that? Tiny little thing. Is it a button? Oh, it's got a nice bit of deco on. I think it is just a button. Let me clean it up and we'll get back to it. Right, well, there's nothing much on it. There's a bit of a weird pattern. Got a bit of a shine on it there in the bottom corner. But it's just a button. All the same. On the next. Okay. Went onto my uh, deep program instead of the ultimate, and uh, straight away had a glass bottle with a bottle top, and uh, this thing, the bottom of that hole, which is uh, you know, same about nine inches down, right off the bottom, 
and just looks like some twisted copper or something. Yeah. Yeah, some twisted copper, but gave a good signal, as it would. Okay, keep going with the deep program, see if it gets us a few more inches down. Alright, on to the next. Right, yep, so as the deep program suggests, it goes pretty deep. And we've got what looks like some kind of hinge or book clasp of some sort. Quite on it. Okay, I'm on my way back to the car now, so there might not be many more digs after this. Okay, on the way back to the car, just on the, the track near the gate. Not too deep. There's this Elizabeth Bunhead, I think it is. Let me just give it a wipe. Eighteen, eighty-nine. I don't know if you can see that there at the bottom. In amongst the shadows, 1889. It's Elizabeth Bunhead Halfpenny. Okay. Right. Sorry, Elizabeth Bunhead, what am I talking about? <laughs> a Victoria Bunhead. Yeah, honestly, it's a Vicky Bunhead, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a Queen Victoria. 1889. Eee, the sun's getting to me. Okay, I'll see you back at the car. Right, guys, back at the car now. Um, really hot sunny day <sighs> and uh, although you know nothing really old that musket ball and a few coins uh, was found it's just about getting out it's about getting out and going detecting can't recommend it enough get yourself a cheap detector pinpointer get some permission and a spade obviously and just get out and give it a go good luck if you're out this weekend or next weekend and hopefully uh, I can clean up some of the finds and show you in the roundup. But from a gorgeous sunny garden where I park my car, I will see you at the next. Hi guys, welcome back to the roundup after the dig. Uh, here we are, quickly show you and get through them. There's not that much interesting things to do, plus I'm on a tight deadline with the wife. So there was lots of cruddy stuff today. The lead that I thought was a palm guard, it might be, but. Looks pretty battered. Um, only two bits of cork today because I was using, not digging any vertical lines on the XY screen and that helped. So I dug one when I was on the deep program and one um, before I, I remembered that on the X, before I put the uh, XP into the XY screen when it was just on the ultimate. Again, always talk about wearing gloves. You find a lot of these crazy if you don't. This thing, not a clue. Some part of an old tractor probably or something. This I thought was a bit of iron, but it's flat on one side and rounded on the other, and it does not give an iron tone. So I don't know what metal that is. This bit is actually, I thought it was, was a bit of iron, um, but it's heavier and it's got like a glisten to it. I don't know if you can see that. It's not iron anyway, it gives a, it's like, a glittery, shiny, almost like the type of rocks I used to sharpen my blade on my axe and things. Um, this, when I first saw it, eee, there you go, butterfingers, Holly, you're quite right. Uh, it, was a, it was a talk, I thought, oh no, it's a, it's a talk, it's a talk, and no, it's a bundle of wire. That's it, just it happens to be shaped like a talk. Never mind. Didn't get that one on video. You got my spoon, nothing silver or nice about it. A buckle, and I got this uh, older buckle, uh, which is there. Thank you, boys. I'm just doing a roundup. Shush, shut the door. 
Um, this oddity, now someone's helped me idea that this is the practice end from an arrow, uh, quite modern, so that would, bit would screw into the arrow, and the wooden tip would be so, it would just bounce off things, and it would, so it's like a practice of field arrow tip, which they haven't done down on that farm for a while, so I don't know where that's come from. But yeah, practice tip off a bow and arrow. Don't know how old it is, pretty modern because it's got a screw, but there you go. We had the um, shot from the shotgun, the pistol ball, as we saw in the video, from the pistols, quite like those. This bit of scrap, I don't know if you can see it, there's like a s dotted circles right, with straight lines um, coming off it. Yeah, coming down, I'm just doing me round up, honestly. Uh, <laughs> Real life times, guys, in the video, family worries. Um, so it's got a bit of a pattern on there, it's snapped off shard or something, but quite an interesting little pattern on it. This, I'm not sure, it might just be an old mount or decorative piece of some sort. I thought it might have been like off a book, um, the old books that used to have like a book clasp type thing, but I'm not 100% sure. The couple of old buttons that you saw. Um, no pattern on it unfortunately this thing still not sure what it is but it does have a number 24 on if you can see there 24 so it's quite modern no idea two half pennies one from 1889 Victorian uh, and the other one I think is a bit more modern um, but two half pennies, and this is a modern half penny from the sort of 70s era. So, yeah, you know, lots of odd, strange items today, uh, which made every hole a bit interesting because you just didn't know what you were getting. Um, but nothing really, apart from this kind of pistol ball, nothing really that old. Maybe that big buckle. Uh, it's got some age to it, but yeah, you can't always get them. But it was just nice to be back out with the dais again. Love the machine. Um, so hopefully we'll get another dig going with it soon. Um, if you have a look on the the front page of the, the, the video, the, the um, what do you call it? Uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. Um, but that shot with the, the go detecting on with dig the crud to find the good which I, I do a lot of digging the crud so it's a good saying um, basically we're going to get some t-shirts done with those that's going to go off to the designer and some caps so if you'd like a go detecting cap or t-shirt with the dig the crud to find the good underneath um, please subscribe I want to be giving away a cap and some t-shirts uh, to some lucky subscribers um, but if you'd like one or you'd just like to buy one um, I'll be able to let you know the prices once we get those sorted out from the company all right so hopefully see you again on another episode of go detecting and in the meantime happy hunting guys